Okay, question 13 from homework 15. Um, they're asking us about finding information about the percentage of alcohol in someone's bloodstream. They're giving us this function A of T equals 0.22T times E to the negative 0.4T power. Um, and they're asking us at what time after drinking the alcohol is the percentage of alcohol in the person's bloodstream at its highest level? Well, that's just word problem code words for find the maximum. When does the function hit its maximum? And we know that when we need to find that information, we need to take a derivative and set the derivative equal to zero. And so let's do that, okay? So they are giving us a of t equals 0.22t times e to the negative 0.4t power. We're going to have to use the product rule to solve this. And what I did is kind of split this into parentheses so you can see the two different functions that we're multiplying, okay? When you look at that, when it's kind of all in one, it's a little bit hard to see where you might be using the product rule. So, you know, think about it a little bit. What's the first function and what's the second function? And in this case, 0.22t is the first function, and e to the negative 0.4t is the second function. So we use the product rule. That's the first function times the derivative of the second function. And the derivative of this here, we just copy it down exactly and then multiply it times the derivative of the exponent. So copy it exactly, and then the derivative of negative 0.4t is just negative 0.4. Now we need to add to that the second function, times the derivative of the first function. In the first function, we just had 0.22t, so we take the derivative of that. That just leaves us with 0.22. And now we simplify. And I think I simplified by multiplying this over here, the negative 0.04 by the 0.22t. That gave me this negative 0.088t times e to the negative 0.4t. And then I just kind of switched these around to make it look nicer. Uh, 0 0.22 times e to the negative 0.4t. But you know what? I've got that e to the negative 0.04t in both of those, so I can factor it out. And when I factor it out, I have e to the negative 0.4t times negative 0.88t plus 0.22. Okay? So I just simplified here and then simplified a little bit more by factoring out that e to the negative 0.4t. So we're going to set that equal to zero. And it was important that I did this. It was important that I simplified at this point because when we set it equal to zero, we're going to see that we have e to the negative 0.4t times that equals zero. So that means either e to the negative 0.42t or 0.4t equals zero or what's inside the parentheses equals zero. Okay, so those are our two options. Either e to that power equals zero or what was inside the parentheses equals zero. Well, here's the deal. There is no such power of e. You can't raise e to any power that will make it equal zero. e is never equal to zero when you raise it to a power. So, we know that the first choice isn't right. That's just wrong. This is like me saying three equals two. It just can't happen. No matter how hard we try, it's not gonna happen. So that's wrong. So we know we're going to be looking at what was inside the parentheses. If we set that equal to zero and solve for t, you're gonna get, in this case, 2.5, okay? So that was our only choice, 2.5 is going to be our maximum. So that's the answer to the first part. That's the highest concentration, I think is what they were saying, what does it say, the uh, highest, the percentage of alcohol in the bloodstream is at its highest level. So that would be 2.5. Okay, so what do we do with that? We plug that into the original function to get the second answer. So not into the derivative, but the original function, you're gonna plug in 2.5. So you're gonna have 0.22e to the negative 0.4 times 2.5. And if you work that out, you're going to get a decimal answer that's gonna look something like this. And you're gonna be like, I've got the answer. No, you don't, stop, 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 stop. You don't have the answer yet because what they're asking for, up to the top here is they're asking for a percentage here. So what we have to do is take that decimal that we found down here and multiply it times 100. So once you've multiplied your decimal answer times 100, you're going to get something along the lines, I imagine you will probably have a zero out front. I can't
can't guarantee it, but in this case we get 0.809% and just plug in the 0.809 and then you are done. But do not stop when you get that decimal answer because that's not in the form of a percent. We need to multiply it times 100 for it to be in the form of a percent. And that is how you do number 13.